Hi, welcome to our new series of videos that will bring you news and best practices about Actions on Google. I'm Ido Green, a developer advocate for Actions on Google. I love to have entrepreneurs and developers to be more productive. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build an app for the Google Assistant. Cool? Apps for Google Assistants are a gateway for your users to engage with your services through Google Home, Android phones, iPhones, and in the future, through every experience where the Google Assistant is available. It's a new, efficient way to interact with your, with your users. Google has been invested heavily in the areas of machine learning and speech recognition and language understanding. Google Assistant brings it all together. It allows users to have a conversation with Google and be more productive. With actions on Google, you could use our investments in this space and your users will enjoy these new capabilities. Now, let's build our first app in less than 15 minutes. Ready? The users need to invoke your app with a phrase like, OK, Google, let's talk to Animal Joker. Now, Google knows the name of the app the users choose to use. The user is now talking to your app. Your app generates dialogue output, which is then spoken to the user. The user then makes requests, your app processes it, and replies back. The user has two-way dialogue until the conversation finished. For our examples, we are going to use API AI. API AI uses the machine learning to understand what the user is trying to tell our app. Believe me, they are saving us a lot of work. You can then respond to the user's request from within API AI, or send the information on the user's intent to your own servers to perform any required action for fulfillment and respond to the user. After the login, you can create your first app for Google Assistant. You will need to give your app a name. In our case, it will be Animal Joker. Please note that the app name can not contain any spaces between the words. Click on Save. It's the button on the top right corner of the screen. What are entities? Entities are the values that we are trying to capture from the user phrases, kind of like filling out a form requesting details from the user. API AI looks to extract this out and will do a follow-up prompt until completed. This is how entities look in API AI. We will create an animal entity. First step is to click on Create Entity button. It's on the top right corner. Next, you should start typing animal's name. The final result should look similar to the image on the right. Please remember, you should help API AI machine learning algorithms train self by providing synonyms. For example, a dog could be also a puppy. In our case, you could give it only two, three animals. That will be fine for our prototype. In the real world, try to give many examples so it will cover more cases. What is an intent? An intent is triggered by a series of user says phrases. This could be something like, please tell me a tiger jokes. You need to specify enough sentences to train API AI machine learning algorithms. Then, even if the user doesn't say exactly the words you typed, API AI could still understand them. You should create separate intents for different types of action. Don't try to combine them all together. In our example, we'll create two intents. Tell joke intent. This intent will handle the jokes. And a quit intent. This intent will handle the part where the user wishes to finish the action. Let's build the tell joke intent. It's time to create the intent that will tell us the jokes. First, click on the Create Intent button. Second, start typing a few sentences that you will want to use to get a joke. For example, please tell me a joke on dogs. Type a few sentences so API AI could start training its algorithms. You could see that while you type, API AI automatically recognizes the phrases includes one of the entities and highlights it. See how it looks like. In the action section, we will need to make sure that our animal entity is required. And in the promote input line, we should type, please tell me which animal you like. This will cover the cases where the user didn't name an animal. It will be clear to her that we need this entity. Finally, in the text response section, we will fill our most amazing jokes. You can take a few ideas from the image below. 
please note that we are using the animal value in our response in order to create a joke that is based on the animal that the users ask. After you fill your amazing jokes, don't forget to click on Save. Let's build our quit intent. A good design principle is to allow our users to end the conversation. You will need to have it anyway in order to pass the review process. You should click again on Create Intent button, then start typing a few sentences that will end the conversation. For example, Bye Bye or Buy Animal Joker. On the right, you could see how the intent looked like. Last but not least, you need to check the End Conversation checkbox so that it will know to really end the conversation at this point. We are almost done. It's testing time. Click on the integration on the right side menu. This will open the API AI agent page with all the options to integrate it with other services. You could see here the many options that we have. Click on Action on Google Box under the one-click integration. This will enable you to test your work on Google Home, a phone, or our web simulator. Once you click on Action on Google, you will see this dialog. That was it. Congrats. You can read more details in the link in the documentation here. Thank you for watching this introduction video. If you like, we also have a blog post on this topic. Also, please make sure to check out our other episodes. We love your feedback. So please don't be a stranger and leave us comments. Until next time, be strong and create amazing actions. <laughs>